Good evening. It's a historic day for Sioux Falls. After almost two decades of work and millions of dollars in federal money, the city announced its first agreement for the rail yard redevelopment project. Kelowland's Casey Warrenberg shows us the plan in tonight's Your Money Matters. In a couple of years, you could be hanging out here at a new development in downtown Sioux Falls that could include housing, office space, shops, and restaurants. When the city initially received different proposals for the rail yard, this is the one that really kind of stood out. Mike Cooper has worked on this project for years. He says this $80 million proposal stood out from the other five the city received. We've talked over the years about what the public would like to see more of downtown. Those are the kind of things that we kept hearing about. And with that, I would like to introduce uh, one of the partners, uh, uh, Mr. David Billion. David Billion and his wife Erica are partners with the development group Black Iron Rail Yard LLC. Erica owns several nearby properties, including the popular 8th and Railroad Center. It's been over 14 years ago she took a warehouse that was probably about 60% occupied, continued to develop within that. There was a rubble of rocks known as the Frank Building that a number of years ago she took a big risk and made something beautiful out of that as well as the Crane Center. After this agreement, there's still six acres left to be developed north of 8th Street. Uh, we'll continue to monitor that and just see what level of interest there might be going forward for the rest of those parcels. If the project remains on track, the first phase will begin in around a year and be done in December of 2020. With Your Money Matters, I'm Casey Wannenberg.